Will somebody be my Valentine? Eat you if you don't. <laughs> Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this school Valentine mailbox that's zombie themed. Growing up going to school for Valentine's Day, we always had like a Valentine's exchange. So we would go home the night before Valentine's and like make a Valentine's Day mailbox and then bring it to school and it would get filled with candy and messages and all of the fun treats and funness of Valentine's Day. So I was inspired by that and now I want to make a heart-shaped Valentine's mailbox. So let's get started. I just have a bunch of different cardboard out of recycling, whatever you want to use is totally fine. It's just cardboard. I also have this poster board and this poster board is going to help me so that I can get the dimensions of the heart. I actually want to kind of make it big. I don't want it to be this tiny dinky little box. Who wants that? Let's make a giant one. <laughs> it's got to have room for billions of candies and Valentine's gifts and stuff. This is just your average size poster board. You can pick one of these up for like 50 cents. And really, I'm only using it because it's the biggest paper I have in the house right now. But if you wanted to, you could easily tape together some computer paper and just use that as your pattern. All right, I'm folding it in half and we're going to make our heart. Now I'm just cutting it out with scissors. So I'm not buying anything for this project. I really just want to be able to use any materials that we already have readily available at home. Yes! Oh, that's perfect. Time to trace it on our cardboard here. And of course, we're gonna make two of these, one for the front of the mailbox and one for the back. Just finishing trimming this one up. Baking instructions. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, now they are perfectly even and ready for the front and back of our mailbox. And now we just need to decide how big we want it. So I was thinking just using this length here to make it easy. I'm just gonna chop that part off. And this is just a normal cardboard box, nothing special about it. Speaking of mailboxes, this is our P.O. Box. P.O. Box 322, Springville, Utah. If you wanna send me a Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> Zip code 84663. <laughs> so because I cut it this way, I can bend the cardboard with the grain and that's gonna help us to shape the cardboard around the outside of our heart. Also, have I mentioned how much I love being able to make these videos in the comfort of my own home and my own sweatpants? Well, I love it. <laughs> okay, time to glue this baby together. I'm also putting all of the writing and stuff on the inside of the box so that when I do put paint on it, it won't have anything show through from underneath. And I'm just gonna do a little section at a time. I should put a piece of junk cardboard underneath this, so just in case I don't get it on the carpet. And a little bit on the inside to reinforce it. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and take my time going up the edge, giving it the Right shape and gluing it together. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's just satisfying. You know what I mean? But it's right. One day later. <laughs> We've got the whole thing put together and now it's time to decorate. And I also want to make sure if there's any spots that are loose, like right here, you can kind of see that the glue didn't work especially well just right here. So I'm going to reinforce that a little bit with glue. Now I actually want to get started on the painting. These are all the pinks and reds I have to choose from. In putting this on here, I realized if I paint it white first, the pink will stand out much, much better. So I think that's what I might do. So I added pink blush onto the front of the heart and then onto the sides of the heart. I am using bright magenta. I think it just looks really cute that there's a couple different colors of pink and it's not just all monochromatic one color. Okay, it's all painted and beautiful and we could leave it just like this. Oh, perfect, cute, you know, mailbox you set on the desk at school. Or let's do something a little bit different. Time to make an oversized bite mark. I'm just adding in some little teeth. Basically looks like a super wide flower. <laughs> so I want to go at this at an angle just like I would if I was biting it. So I'm just gonna take my time and slowly cut with this knife. And maybe I'll start on this side so I'm not cutting towards myself. Kind of like I'm spiky better anyways. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna just kind of add in the angle that I want. So I just decided to make it jagged, make a cutout so that I can just cut this piece out and then glue some cardboard in to kind of make it look like a giant bite mark. Yay! I'm so happy right now. This turned out really, really good. Figuring out the angles, and because it's just cardboard and glue, there's no pressure to get it right the first time. So I definitely just took my time, put in random pieces. I did, however, make sure that there were as many points on the bottom as there were on the top, just so that they could line up. I think it looks like a bite mark, and that's what I wanted. Okay, now it's time to paint it blood red. All right, time to add some blood drips. I'm making sure to let it sit exactly like how I want it to sit on the table so that the blood drips will drip down the right way. I'm using the hot glue as blood drips and then we'll paint it red when I'm done. I like it because it's like 3D. Okay, to make it stand out a little bit more as a bite mark, I'm just going around the outside edge of all of the chomp mark with a black paint pen. But you can use just regular black paint and a paintbrush if that's what you have. Or probably even a marker. I'm all about just using whatever you can find in your house that you already have. Okay, I have a paint pen and I also have a paintbrush with black paint and I'm just gonna write this on there, paint it on there so that we can make it stand out a little bit more. Also, I wrote, will Zombody be my my valentine, because that's cool. <laughs> To finish the whole thing off, I've got some pink crepe paper and I'm just going along the outside edge and just pulling the crepe paper and kind of like gathering it along the outside edge. And then once it's cool, it's very easy to just fluff it up and make it look all fluffy and frilly and girly. <laughs> and I will not be putting this where the bite mark is, only where it's been untouched. And I made sure to leave a slit right here in the middle so that people can put their valentines in your mailbox. I actually originally was not planning on making it a zombie theme, but as I was making it, I was like, this is just too pretty and perfect and I want something else. And I just got, this idea just came to me, so I decided I wanted to make it zombie themed. I love it. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you do. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If if you want to see more of my daily life, click over here. I've heard of a few people that have done it and been very glad that they did. You can click over here if you want to see more Valentine's videos, and I will see you guys next time.